Eva, we talked about in a previous video about uh, tailoring resumes. So candidates tailor their resume to the job and they send through applicant tracking system and they hope to get a phone call or an email saying that we'd like to phone interview now. So in terms of that, what tips you have in all your experiences that you have done in terms of how should candidates be prepared for a phone interview and what question they should ask the recruiter at the end of the phone interview? Sure, that's a very valid question because uh, most processes start with a phone interview. Uh, and what I often see is that people might underestimate the phone interview, right? They think they, they, they can schedule some time when they're um, you know, commuting back from, from work uh, on the train or something um, and sort of squeeze it in. While it is something I would say you have to prepare very well for it, at least as well as for a face-to-face -face interview, I would say, because it's even in a way more challenging in the sense that people cannot see your body language. And you know how my, uh, the, the majority of our communication is actually through body language, right? And not through words. So we miss that piece. That means that to make our case and to convince someone to move us forward in the process, we have to be even stronger in our words. And I think often people underestimate that. So it's very important to think it through and to also pace your speech. Sometimes that's difficult for me. I'm, I'm sometimes rambling on. Um, but, uh, but on a phone interview, that is extra important. And to make sure you articulate well so that people can understand you, especially if you have an accent, like I do as well. Uh, so there's nothing wrong with it. But, uh, but it, it can cause that people have difficulty understanding you and you want to avoid that. So, and other than that, I would say, make sure that you prepare just as well as for a face-to-face -face interview. I would say even make sure you're dressed, even though people will not see you dress well, um, not in your pajamas, because it gives you a different feeling, right? Take it seriously. It's often that first interview is gonna be a screen in, screen out situation, right? So if you don't make it, your resume is not gonna even end up um, on, the, on the desk of the hiring manager or in, in a discussion. So you, you have to take it seriously. And in terms of questions to ask, I would say it's important to understand whom you're having the phone interview with. In most cases, that first step will be with a recruiter, right? So in that case, I would say don't ask very technical questions that are related to the job because the recruiter might not be aware and it's better to save those for the hiring manager. But I would say make sure that you ask everything you want about process because the recruiter can help you there people often forget as well that that um, they can support them they recruiters basically want to set candidates up for success so if anything is unclear about the process or next steps make sure you ask that and something that i personally like uh, is a question that would be related to um, for example to how that person that you're talking to joined the company uh, and why and what kept them there. So, it, so if you before, I think it's very important to do some research on LinkedIn so you know the, the person you're talking to has been at that company for like three years and to ask that question, what at the time made you join the company and what has kept you there for three years? Because I want to understand the culture. I want to understand what motivates you in there. So then you can understand a little bit of that. So I think that would be a good question for um, a first phone interview, especially if it's not with the hiring manager. Yeah, that's a great one. I, uh, I always ask people to ask about the company culture or again, what motivates you to stay here or how is the company culture there or the teamwork, the team environment. I think that those are great questions uh, to ask on a phone interview. Great, thanks. Yeah. Again, uh, thank you again, Eva, for those great tips. And I'm hoping that whoever is watching or listening will benefit from their phone interview that is coming up soon in their career search. And if you have any other questions that you think it's beneficial or good for job seekers to ask uh, during the phone interview, please leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, like it and share it with your friends. And tune in tomorrow for another question with Eva.